The Fitbit Sense 2 is the best Fitbit smartwatch that you can get right now. But is it actually that good? For about 300 euros, I'm expecting a lot. And as of right now, I'm thinking it's more of a very good fitness tracker instead of being a smartwatch. But more to that later on. So this watch has a 1.6 inch all display with an always on display mode. So without it, you do get the six days of battery life. And if you actually want to use the always in display mode, you can basically cut this number in half. So two to three days is what you can expect. Now, as for my settings, I had the brightness settings on max. I did about 30 minutes of a GPS tracked bike tour and I get quite a few notifications. And I have to admit that I'm using this watch pretty heavily since I had to do all of the checkups and see all of the features. But two to three days is what you can expect. Plus, it only takes about 12 minutes to give you enough battery life for a full day. And if you want to go from zero to hero, it takes about two hours. All right, since we get water sports on this watch as well, this watch is of course water resistant up to 5 ATM. It is super light with just 37 grams, which is eight grams lighter than with the previous model. Plus, this watch is compatible with iOS and Android smartphones, but before you buy this one, make sure that you have at least iOS 14 and Android 8, otherwise it won't work. You get a 24mm silicon strap, which can easily be removed with a quick release feature. We finally get back a physical button instead of the haptic button that we once had with the Versa 3 and the Sense. And you get stuff like a built-in mic, speaker, GPS, and I guess let's start with this one. All right, up to the activity tracking. And just like with the Fitbit Versa 4, we get 40 different sport modes like swimming, cycling, and running. So the basic stuff is covered, but we also have other stuff like CrossFit, winter sports, and weightlifting. Now the built-in GPS is definitely something to talk about. And I have two big problems with it. First up, it can take ages until you find a GPS signal so you can start your workouts. Now, I had days on which I was like, 30 minutes outside and it just couldn't find a GPS signal. And on another day, I found a GPS signal and I was at the same spot and I was not surrounded by tall buildings or anything like that. And the second problem is actually that when I did some workouts, the watch just didn't track the mileage and not my speed. And I experienced the same problem with the Fitbit Versa 4. Now up to the actual GPS tracking. So I did manage to make the GPS work and I'm not pleased with it at all. The lines are all over the place on straight lines and the park is doing okay-ish, but it just can get corners. Plus there were some parts on which I was super confused and it messed up the tracking. Like I went under a bridge and right and instead it went further left and was smoothing out the mistake with a big curve. So overall not that great in my opinion. Okay, the biggest reason to get the Fitbit Sense 2 is of course the health tracking. And this little device is packed with it. First up, you get your heart rate tracker. This one not only tracks 24 seven, but it also gives you heart rate alerts whenever you have a very high or low heart rate. You also get one of my favorite sleep trackers. This one will track your sleep stages, sleep duration. Plus if you have the Fitbit Premium, you get even more information like your restlessness and sleeping heart rate. The Fitbit Sense 2 also keeps track of your SpO2 level during the night, breathing rate, heart rate variability, skin temperature and resting heart rate. And once again, if you get the premium version, you will find also things like a snore and noise detection and stress management analytics. As for last, we will find the usual EDA scan that we know from the previous Fitbit models, which is basically a very good stress tracker. And this one in comparison to the Versa 4 has an ECG function, which of course looks good and it has a big benefit to your health side of things. Now all of that combined is making the Fitbit Sense 2 one of the best health trackers out there. All right, feature wise, we get a little bit less than what I would expect from a 300 euro smartwatch. Now we do get an Alexa voice assistant, but that's actually a big downgrade compared to the Sense 1 and the Fitbit Versa 3, since both of them were capable of doing Alexa voice assistant and the Google voice assistant. But at least you can still do all of the normal stuff, like you can ask Alexa to start a workout, or you can ask for the weather, do some calculation, and ask some basic stuff. And it's pretty snappy with the thinking process and the answering process, and even louder background noises. It seems like it doesn't bother Alexa too much. Also, we do receive most of our notifications right on our wrist. Over in the app, we have a few things to play around with, like we can decide whether we want to get notifications when we receive an SMS or a call, and we can toggle specific notifications off and on. And if I once again compare it to the older version, the Fitbit Versa 3 and the Sense, 
all of them were capable of actually answering to messages, WhatsApp and SMS. Now we had some quick reply options that we can choose and we can even customize them. And we can actually use the speed to dictate feature to answer like that if you had an Android phone. Now, if you swipe down from your home screen, you get to your quick panel with your DD mode, brighten settings, and the AOD mode. Swiping left and right will take you through all of your tiles, like your daily activities, that shows you your burned calories, amount of steps, and your mileage. Next up, we get over to your heart rate, sleep tracker, body responses, and of course, your usual timers, stopwatch, and alarm, which by the way will wake you up in the morning with some very gentle vibrations so you can have an easy start into your morning. Now, some other features that we can expect on the Sense 2 and on the Fitbit Versa 4, which I, by the way, covered in a separate video. So if you want to check this one out, check down the description. I will leave a link down there. Now, those two features will be the Google Wallet and the Google Maps. Now, as of right now, they don't exist, not in the web page and not on the watch, but Fitbit states that they will come in, I don't know, some future update. So. I will wait for that. But at least you will still get the Fitbit Pay and the Find My Phone feature, and you can actually answer or decline incoming calls right on the watch. But unfortunately, we cannot talk on the watch right now. And this is also a feature that is supposed to come with one of the newer updates. But as of right now, they don't exist, and I'm missing a whole lot of features on this watch. All right, next up, let's check out the watch faces. If you want to change your watch face, you have to do that over in the app since there's no such thing as long pressing your screen to change it. So right here, your first thing is you, you can change your tiles that you have on your watch right now. So you can add a tile and kick some out of the rotation. If you click on the clocks, you will get to all of your watch faces. So you do get a lot of AOD watch faces, which is a nice thing to see since most smartwatches only have a few. Plus, it gives you the option to choose between free and paid watch faces. And of course, you get plenty more like some very heavy stat tracking, digital and analog watch faces. You get a section with free ones and the newest watch faces releases. And with some of them, you can even interact. So you can just click on your watch screen and you can circle through all of your different health stats, which is definitely a cool thing to see. Now, before we end the video, I will give you my quick thoughts on that. Now, if you compare the Fitbit Sense 2 to even the older models, the Sense and the Fitbit Verso 3, this one is a huge downgrade for a higher price. Now we get less smartwatch features and basically the same health features. So it's really not worth it in my opinion. They kind of like send all the good stuff over to the Google Pixel Watch to make it the best Google Watch. And guys, I will compare the Fitbit Sense and the Fitbit Versa 4 and the Google Watch in another video. But as for right now, that's it for the day. Now, if you liked the video, make sure to like and hit the subscribe button. And with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.